you want to be when you grow up? I will become a lawyer. How about you? Me? I want to be a doctor. That's an excellent ambition and it would be good for me too. Why? Because every time I fall ill, I shall go and see you and you will treat me for free. Hmm, only if you do not charge me when I need your legal services. After all, nothing in life is really free anyway. Ha, ah, some friend you are, but you're quite right. And it's not easy either. I guess success in life comes from sheer hard work. Yeah, and don't forget the obstacles that we have to face and overcome. Well, to make a long story short, we need to work hard, be determined and never give up. Whoa, you took the words right out of my mouth. Hello Ben, how are you today? Hi girls, I'm feeling great. What are you up to? I'm working out. It's important to exercise regularly. It will keep us fit and healthy. That's right, exercising also increases our metabolic rate. Metal what rate? Wow, only doctors talk like that. Well, that's Dr. Shah's ambition. To talk like a doctor? That's silly to become one. Okay, that's enough. Actually, we are here to ask a favour of you. Sure, no problem. What is it? I shall try my best to help you out. It's like this. We have been given an assignment by our teacher. We have to interview someone who has helped to improve the lives of other people. You know, save lives or made our country a better place to live in. Yeah, you know, people who can be role models of achievement for teenagers. Hmm, role models improving lives. Hmm, aha, I know someone like that. He's a doctor. His name is Christopher Lee. He's a doctor who contributes a lot of his time and energy to voluntary work. Just the person we want to meet. Oh, please, Ben, could you arrange for us to interview him? I try my best. Hey, you know what? I think you have a great assignment. You can learn how to succeed in life. That's right. And you know what? To succeed in life, we need to work hard, be determined and never give up. Mm, I swear I've heard that somewhere before. I'm sorry, Shah. I've been <laughs> dying to say that. Anyway, I think that Ben's right and I know that we are going to have a lot of fun doing it. I can't wait to start. I'm sure you will. I wish my lecturer gave me a assignment like that. Thank you, Ben. And don't forget to call us as soon as possible, okay? Bye, bye Ben. Okay, bye. Why did he choose to become a doctor? Uh, medicine has always been my childhood ambition. From very early age, I think I was in, maybe in my early secondary school, when my father was admitted uh, for a suspected heart attack in the Ipoh General Hospital. And uh, being the eldest son, so I was involved in taking him to the hospital, you know, and spending time with him in the hospital. And when you were there, you I could see how the other doctors and nurses were, were doing their best to try to help uh, uh, the patients in, in, in hospital. And I thought that that would be a good thing to do, something very worthwhile to do with one's life, you know, helping uh, people don't even know, people who need, people who may be less fortunate than we are. And uh, that, that was always very close to my heart uh, as I was growing up. When did you start your practice as a doctor? I come from the University of Malaya, medical faculty. Uh, I graduated in 85, and uh, so I became a house officer in, in July 85. And uh, I started off uh, as a house officer in the University of Malaya Medical Center for a year, after which I was posted to an exciting place called Sarawak for three years. Very exciting place, and uh, I spent uh, about a year of my three years there, a year in a place called Kapit, up the Rajang River. So, that first four or five years of my career was really uh, in, 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 in Sarawak. Could you please tell us a little bit about your family background and school life? The eldest son of a family of two. My father uh, is a teacher, my mother is a housewife, and uh, I have a younger sister who is four years my junior. Uh, I went to school in, uh, in St. Michael's Institution in Ipoh, uh, a missionary school uh, during those, those days. And um, the, I think the tradition of the school, the atmosphere in the school, uh, a lot of emphasis on uh, community work and social work was, was all very much part of the school life those days. And that also maybe also inspired me to, to be involved in, in social issues, not just make money and, and find a living, you know, but also trying to do something to help the community that we live in. Was there a particular person who inspired you to become a doctor? Is there a motivator behind your success? 
you know, my parents, uh, uh, my, parents my father would always, see, he's a teacher, but he would say things like, uh, if you can do something to help others, you should. And I think that simple philosophy of life is something that uh, I keep until today. Uh, if you can be kind, please be kind. If you can do something to make a difference to somebody else, please go ahead and do it, you know. Uh, but of course, over the years, uh, especially now when I'm very involved in HIV and AIDS work, uh, that philosophy of mine has gone a little bit stronger. And, and now I would say that if we can make a difference, if we know we can make a difference, we must. You know, I, I guess that's a, a philosophy that I've added on to my, my, my father's philosophy, if you like, uh, uh, to build on uh, uh, into my work now. Why did you choose Mac? as your platform to help other people. I'm now uh, specialising in infectious diseases for the last oh, almost 10 years now. And in Malaysia, infectious diseases involves a lot of HIV AIDS work. I would say about 80% of my time is involved in providing services or care or treatment to people with HIV and AIDS. Um, but as a doctor, I can only do so much for patients with HIV AIDS in terms of treatment and counselling and providing a care and, inf and support for them in the hospital. But most of their lives will not be in the hospital, it will be in the community. And to further help my patients in the community, I, I realised that unless I also provide a platform for NGOs to support them, um, their care won't be complete, if you like. But to do that, I felt that there was a need for me to be involved in the NGOs. And I think the NGOs provide a lot of, uh, are able to provide a lot of support that the hospitals cannot because hospitals are limited because we are only confined to, 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 the, to the perimeter of the hospital, you know. Six years I've been involved in Malaysian AIDS Council has been very rewarding. I have also learned uh, a lot by working with the NGOs, uh, their work commitment, their passion in their work, um, and, and their close relationship with the grassroots. I think that's very important because you actually go down to, to, to work with the person you're trying to help. And I think uh, working in the NGOs allowed me that, that opportunity as well uh, to work closer with, with my clients and, and my patients. What is your advice to teenagers out there who want to choose a career? I think they have to think very carefully what they want in life. I think that's, that's key. But sometimes as you're growing up, you get distracted by a lot of things. You see a nice car, you see a nice house, you see a, a comfortable life of somebody else. Um, but there's just outward, ask yourself what you really want to do with your life. What you want to spend once you left school, left university, what you want to do. I think with that, then you decide which occupation or profession will allow you to practice uh, uh, the things you want to do uh, 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 in the best possible fashion. Uh, some people are very good with technical stuff. They enjoy spending hours and hours uh, working on a computer system or things like that. And therefore, an IT world would maybe suit them very well. But some people, like myself, uh, we work best in the, in, in, with others. We work best, uh, we are basically what I call a, 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 a human relation or, or service industry, if you like. And medicine is a service industry. He here to provide a service, you know. Um, and to me, that was the main thing. I took up medicine because I, I, I enjoyed working with people. I enjoyed being able to help others. Um, and I thought this would be a good field to do so. Um, but I guess if I, I'm a person who doesn't like to work with people, like to work alone, I think medicine might be a wrong job. Now, you know? So I guess that's an important thing. Decide, find out more about yourself. Uh, what will drive you, what will make your life happy in the sense that, that you're doing that, a work that you're doing every single day and then look at all the opportunities that we have in the Malaysia, the needs of our country, the needs of your community and see how best you fit in. I think interest uh, is, a, is a key key thing uh, to keep yourself happy in your profession. also a key to success. A person who easily falls ill would certainly not be able to achieve success. And if you are successful and do not have good health, you will not be able to enjoy what you have worked so hard for.
Did you know that vitamin C is a very important supplement that can keep you healthy? Vitamin C helps in the formation and maintenance of connective tissue, which is found in the skin, ligament, bones, and teeth. It also gives support and a shape to the body. Taking it regularly will help to heal wounds and maintain healthy blood vessels. Another way to maintain good health and ensure success is to watch what we eat. We have to eat a balanced diet that is the right foods in the right amount. If the food that you eat has a lot of sugar or fat in it, then you should replace it with fruit, vegetables, cereal and peas or beans. And don't forget to exercise, walk, run, or swim daily. Successful people care about what they look in general and their skin in particular. This gives them confidence to meet and speak with people. The best way to prevent pimples is to keep your skin clean and healthy. Wash it once or twice daily. If pimples occur, apply anti-acne cream on the pimples as and when they appear. The most important thing is not to pick or squeeze the pimples. It will leave a permanent scar which will take a long time to heal. Here's another health tip. Drink a lot of water. Water helps to burn fat. It also flushes germs and microbes out of your system. Besides that, it also makes your skin healthier and clearer. It is recommended that you drink at least 8 glasses of water a day to maintain good health. The Simple Future Tense We use the Simple Future Tense to talk about or give information about what will probably or certainly happen in the future. We use shall or will before the verb. Let's take a look at some examples of how it is used. I will become a liar, how about you? Because every time I fall ill, I shall go and see you and you will treat me for free. It's important to exercise regularly. It will keep us fit and healthy. Sure, no problem. What is it? I shall try my best to help you out.
Taking it regularly will help to heal wounds and maintain healthy blood vessels. Here are some of the words that you heard Ben, Shah and Diana use when they spoke to one another. Listen to how they are pronounced. Healthy, healthy. Ambition, ambition. Success, success. Achievement, achievement. Determine, determine. I'm sure a lot of you have dreams of becoming doctors. That's good. However, just thinking about it alone isn't enough. You got to do something about it. Apart from studying and working really hard to achieve your goal, you also have to find out as much information as you can about it. So now, Ben is going to tell you how you can go online to find out a dream career. Okay, first we click on the Internet Explorer. Then we type a keyword in the search engine. Uh, career will be a good word to start with. Okay, let's look at the results of our search. Hmm. Waiting for the results to be displayed. Aha! There are so many websites on careers. Let's just check one of them out. Hmm, let's see. Ah, uh, here's one. www.careerkey.org slash English I will click here to try the activities. Which job interests you? Hmm, I think I'll choose biologist. Click continue. I like to work with animals, tools or machines. Mostly true. I like to study and solve math or science problems. Mm, true. Third question. I like to do creative activities like art, drama, craft, dance, music. True. I like to do things where I can help people like teaching, first aid or giving information. Mostly true. Mm, I like to lead and persuade people and to sell things and ideas. True. I like to work with numbers, records, or machines in a set, orderly way. Um, I think I put mostly true. Then click continue. I have good skills in working with tools, mechanical drawings, machines, or animals. Mostly true. I'm good at understanding and solving science and math problems. True. I have good artistic abilities in creative writing, drama, craft, music or art. Mostly true. I'm good at teaching, counselling, nursing or giving information. Mostly true. I'm good at leading people and selling things or ideas. Mostly true again. I'm good at working with written records and numbers in a systematic, orderly way. True. Click continue and so forth. Okay. These are my scores. It is a good idea to look at the listed for the two or three personality types that you have the highest scores. So we have talked a lot about success and how we can achieve it. 
Let's put it all into a mind map. Here goes. Key to success. Trust in yourself. Find out your own interests. Read a lot. Choose a career. Look at the needs of the community and country. Plan and decide. Think of what you want in your life. How to maintain a healthy life. Exercise, walk, run or swim daily. Take vitamin C as a supplement. Have a balanced diet. Drink a lot of water. So remember, work hard if you want to succeed. Eat a balanced diet, drink a lot of water, and take supplements. That will improve your health and help you succeed. And remember what Shah said about the key to success? We need to work hard, be determined, and never give up. Take care, and see you in our next series. Bye.